and welcome to our 15th annual Lollipops and Roses concert. We thank you all for coming this afternoon. It's a lovely day for a concert. The proceeds from this concert benefit the Clifton Education Foundation, as well as the Clifton Community Band. We would also like to thank our sponsor at the Clifton Recreation Department, as well as the Clifton Board of Education for use of the facilities and equipment. Our director is Robert Morgan. We have approximately 70 active members, including music educators, teachers from Clifton, as well as other districts, current CHS students, alumni, and a variety of musicians from our community. Our opening march was El Capitan by John Philip Sousa, composed in 1895. At this time, we ask that you please rise for our national anthem.
Gardening Time. This English folk tune was delightfully arranged by two musical legends, Percy Granger and John Philip Sousa. Comedian Alan Sherman used the same melody in 1963 for his song, Here's to the Crabgrass. Please enjoy Country Gardens.
instrument sections, and today we're featuring our clarinet section. It's a Leroy Anderson classic written in 1962, Clarinet Canon.
when Yuba plays the rumba on the tuba down in Cuba, is an imaginative novelty song written in 1931 by Herman Kupfeld and made famous by Rudy Bauer. It was featured in a 2014 episode of HBO's Boardwalk Empire. Today we're featuring Gabe Pinto as our Yuba on his tuba.
So to uh, start with, I'd like to acknowledge the original musicians that have been with us since the very beginning. Please stand up.
<laughs> okay, um, moving on with our concert. Valdrez is a march named for a traditional district in central southern Norway, first played in 1904 and based on Norwegian folk songs. The fanfares in the brass give the piece a very regal sound. Donald Lapuzzo, a 2007 CHS Mustang Band alumni, 
and currently District Director of Bands for Wallington Public Schools.
Anderson was described by John Williams as one of the American masters of light orchestral music. Many of his pieces were introduced by the Boston Pops conducted by Arthur Fiedler. The Leroy Anderson portrait features a variety of those pieces. See how many you can name.
First, I'd like to thank all of you for attending this afternoon. We hope that you've uh, enjoyed the production we've lovingly put out for you. And we hope to see you at our next concert, which will be on June 12th, correct? Sunday afternoon up at Lambert's Castle. Um, kind of a collaboration between the Historical Society and the band. So uh, keep, keep that date open. It's generally a very lovely, nice afternoon, other than the fact that wedding parties keep running through where we're playing. <laughs> it works well. <laughs> I'd like to have a, a few people stand and be recognized. Our soloists for this afternoon, all of you that had even like four measures worth, because you guys really did a, a superb job at this gig. Trumpets first, but you guys get it. Oh, in fact, the whole section. You guys played the guitar out of that one. and I were in band together a long time ago. <laughs> uh, baritone. Yeah. And the flute. Flute solos, but there are a whole bunch of you that had it before. Get up. Don't say no. <laughs> and our alto sax solo. Yeah. 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 And of course, he on his tuba phone. Oh, tuba. Did I get anybody? Who, who did I miss? Oh, the horn. Yeah, he had two, three notes by himself. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <great. laughs> and of course, our guest conductor, Donnie. Come on out here. All the way to make this TV. He's not playing, but he can still swing his arms. Good, good for John. He's uh, currently over at Wallington, uh, running their music program and such. So we're uh, glad to have him here with us for many years. Didn't you have five years yet? Or ten? Huh? Yeah. Oh, since second lollipop. Okay, so he's a long timer anyway. Over in the trumpet section. Okay. Did I get everybody? Say yes. yes. Thank you. I know somebody will go backstage later and say, You didn't mention me. But anyway, our soloists, our full band, we get together. If there's anyone in the audience who plays an instrument and would like to come and be part of this, please do. We meet on Tuesday evenings right here in the high school band room. Uh, our little motto is We may not be the best, but we're not the worst. So, if you want to come and, and enjoy uh, making music, please do. For our closing selection this afternoon, I don't think it's a secret to anyone here if you've been to any of our concerts, uh, the official march of the United States of America, arguably probably the best march ever written by John Philip Sousa, The Stars and Stripes Forever, featuring Miriam Eisenmenger on the piccolo, and a whole bunch of other piccoloists at the uh, the very end of the last string, if we can get them from not being so shy. <laughs> okay, hope to see you again soon. Hope you've had a great time. Thank you for coming. Good luck. God bless. And uh, clap, clap for this last one. <laughs>
Thank you.